To start let us open Notepad++. You can use Notepad or Visual Studio Code. Save this as HTML file let's name it index.html. Then create a new file for JavaScript name it script.js and save to the same folder with HTML. At HTML window let's do the basic HTML structure. inside body tag. We have to link the JavaScript file using script tag. At opening tag we use an src attribute equal to JavaScript file. Then at the top, let us create a label for first input box called number 1. Then the input box, type would be equal to number. Just copy this two tags then paste it. Assign a class name for first input box to num1 then for second input box to num2. After the two input box, we need to insert a button put an equal sign then assign a class name as btn equal. Then after this, we use h1 tag to display the result of the operation. Set a class name total. Let us save this file, then open the file to see the output. Here we go let us zoom in a bit. When we click the equal button the result will be displayed below. Ok, done with HTML, we need to work with JavaScript copy first the class name of the button because we need that at click event. Using DOM operation, we need to specify the, the HTML element that we are going to select in this case the btn equal. During click event this function will be fired up. Not let us test first if this click event is functioning properly when click this message will be displayed at console mode. Ok, let us test, refresh the page. Generate the console mode as you can see the message click me has been displayed. Ok, enough delete this. Then create a variable that get the value of the first input box.
Then just copy this code and paste it for the second input box. The for the third variable that holds the result of the operation. Copy the first variable add a plus sign to perform addition. Then let us see the value of total num variable at the console mode. Refresh the page, then let us try to input click the button. As you can see from console mode it only concatenate the two value it make 46 instead of 10. So what is the problem? The two value treated it as a string. To perform addition we have to add another function in the code. We need to use a val function to each variable, to evaluate each value. Then let us try again. Then it give us now the correct result. Since it is OK now, let us now display this result to HTML itself. We have to select the H1 tag through class name total. Done and try. Great. Let us add this to become more clear. Save and try again. Let input. 23 and 10 then the result is 35. Good. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.